Ah, good old hypocrite Vincent James. And I don't agree with him on everything. But if I were to pick someone, it would be Michael Knowles. I mean, like 90% of the stuff I agree with him. He's like very well spoken. Spoken. He's an excellent debater. He gave a speech about order. He talked about govern, governing moral behavior. Order at the cost of freedom. And he talked about how in the 1950s, which is true, this is true, this is actually something I've talked about before. In the 1950s, we were a much more well-ordered society. We were governing moral behavior. There were lots of laws like the production code in Hollywood that banned them from showing nudity in movies. They banned a lot more than just nudity. They banned a whole number of subjects. You couldn't talk about a number of things. But you know this, and you still support it. You know exactly what was going on in the 50s when it comes to censorship, and you support it. There were lots of other things. He talked about how it was illegal to basically cohabitate without being married. There was a lot. The door divorce was very rare. Um, you can... Obviously, we know how the 1950s were just by reading and watching movies from that period in time. It was like the greatest era in American history. Let's make something perfectly clear. Leave it to Beaver was a fantasy. The way that a lot of movies from the 1950s portrayed life in the 1950s in America was a fantasy. Domestic violence was at an all-time high. People lived really shitty lives then, but they weren't able to talk about any of those issues because they weren't allowed to. There was too much censorship. Uh... Birth rates were higher, marriage rates were higher, divorce rates were lower. It was basically non-existent. There was no ethnic conflict in some of this woke culture that we're seeing right now. As I've said before, a lot of right-wingers and Republicans here in the United States romanticize the 1950s. They want to bring us back to the 1950s. That's what they mean when they say, make America great again. That's what they mean. They want to bring us back to the 1950s when... Sorry, when white supremacy was was the norm, it was the law. We didn't have inter, interracial marriage wasn't fully legalized in the whole United States. It wasn't legalized on a federal level until 1967. Yet they pine, these people pine for a time from before that. They pine for a time before the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Now, this isn't all, all Republicans or all right-wingers, but a significant number of them, especially the loudest voices— and so, so many of these right-wingers want to pine for this time when we had massive censorship. I mean, the 1950s, the censorship of the 1950s was over the top, okay? They pine for a time when we had massive censorship, massive government getting involved in people's personal lives, government trying to legislate morality. They pine for this time, and yet they claim they want small government, and then they whine incessantly when far-right viewpoints get censored on places like YouTube. It's hypocrisy at its finest. Just saying. 